18 months ago, I did a video on the Raspberry Pi Debug Probe. I've been using these devices now nearly every day for two years, and I wanted to do a bit of an update. I'm not quite as in love with these devices as I was. Um, let me tell you why. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, robotics, IoT, and other fun tech. Remember to subscribe and join the community. This is my three minute summary on my update of my experience working with the Raspberry Pi Debug Probe. If you have time, why not check out the full video? There are two ways to flash the Pico, using boot cell by you know, holding down that boot cell button while power cycling or rebooting the Pico, or using SWD port, um, which normally requires some sort of adapter to plug into your laptop to the SWD. I find the SWD approach works best for me in an iterative development. Raspberry Pi released their own board for flashing the Pico via SWD called the Raspberry Pi Debug Probe. This comes with a USB cable to connect it to your laptop, uh, a cable to connect the SWD port, and one to connect um, UART as well, so you can do telemetry. I use OpenOCD to flash and run the debugger against my Pico. OpenOCD is a bit verbose in terms of its command line. And in my environment, I don't actually run the command directly. I have scripts that run it for me and do clever things like find my binaries for me. I work on multiple projects and boards in parallel to enable videos like this one. So I've been running on two uh, debug probes. But unfortunately, one of those has failed recently. And instead of buying a new device, I've picked a different strategy. Some time ago, I built a Pico probe board based on a Pico and use that to actually flash a Pico. I didn't want it on the breadboard because of the amount of space it would take up. Um, this time though, I was able to use an RP2040, which takes up a lot less space. The RP2040 is an RP2040 board uh, with fewer pins and USB to C. They're about half the price of a debug probe, which makes them really good at value and not taking up too much room on my breadboard, they actually work quite nicely connecting across and using it as, as if it was a debug pro. If you're not using the pre-soldered header version of the Pico, or the Pico H and WH, and have a little experience with the Pico ecosystem, then I think an RP2040 as a Pico probe is a great option for SWD flashing. I still think the debug probe is a great product. But in some situations, I can get by with a Pico probe running on an RP2040. Uh, really, these are in some ways better because I've got USB-C, which I find easier in my environment, and no JSTSHs. What do you think? I know there are some other devices out there that have SWD interfaces for you know, your PCs and Mac. Do you use them? Would you recommend them? I'd be really interested in hearing, as others would on the channel, please drop in the comments into the comments. If you'd like this video and it helps your learning or projects, why not drop me a cash tip using the super thanks button below the video. And remember, I'm saving these up for Get Myself to Open Source in San Francisco next year, and I'd appreciate your help in getting me there. And I hope to see you there too. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the next video. Bye-bye for now.